Hey class, Mrs. Guerra here and Mr. Guerra here coming at you with a G-Bonsai video from an active volcano lava flow. We've done volcano videos before for you guys, but they've always been with dormant volcanoes. So this is such a cool experience and we are so excited to share it with you guys. I'm gonna let Mr. Guerra take it away for all of the science details. Take it away, Mr. Guerra. <laughs> So this volcano has actually been erupting for a couple of months now and there is lava flowing down from the crater that's uh, about a mile and a half that way and unfortunately it's too fogged in for us to see the crater but we do get to see this lava right up close and one of the biggest misconceptions I find with volcanoes is people don't realize that the lava that comes out the top is the land. So as magma is oozing out of the top and flowing in this big lava flow, this is now the new land that we have here, brand new. So this is like literally today, this land formed. Um, scientists are saying that this volcano might actually continue erupting for another three years, uh, which would have the possibility as the lava continues to flow in layers of making what's called a shield volcano. So shield volcanoes happen when a continuous eruption makes layer on top of layer on top of layer on top of layer and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and it makes a whole mountain. So actually the biggest mountain in the world is not Mount Everest, it's Mount Kilauea in Hawaii. Uh, oh, no, it's not. It's Mauna Loa in Hawaii. Um, Kilauea is actually newer than Mauna Loa. But, but Mauna Loa, if you measure it from the bottom of the ocean, actually makes a mountain about 40,000 feet tall and it formed exactly like this, with just lava flow on top of lava flow on top of lava flow, forming a big giant mountain. There's no indication that this volcano is gonna make a mountain quite that big, but over time, this could actually grow to be a pretty sizable mountain if the lava continues to flow out, making these layers. So you can actually, standing here, you can feel the heat of the lava um, as it bumps into vegetation, it actually, it lights it on fire. So this is slowly making its way down towards the valley. You can actually see up there with the, with the vehicles. They are actually making a big wall to try to basically slow the lava flow down because uh, they know that it would keep going towards the town and potentially destroy a lot of the infrastructure. So this is what's also classified as a quiet eruption uh, because the lava is able to flow easily. Because it flows easily, it doesn't get clogged up and explode violently. So this is actually a relatively safe eruption to come and see in person. But we are just enjoying being here. It's the first time I've ever seen lava so close. It's uh, it's pretty amazing. And uh, I'm enjoying looking at it. And I just want to tell you guys a little bit about the experience that we're having right here. If you've ever been by a campfire, um, we're probably about 15 or 20 feet away from the volcanic material right now and it feels like being by a campfire. It's quite warm and it's also a cloudy, misty day. We're standing in a cloud right here, also known as fog, and as that mist hits the volcanic material, as it hits that lava, you can hear the sizzle of it cooling down and forming that nice crust right on the surface. It is such a cool experience. It's okay. Go ahead, guys. Yeah, we're <laughs> good. Um, and then the smell is similar to a campfire smell as well. It's a little bit stinky. It's got a little bit of a sulfur egg smell to it. And that's just because of the minerals that are contained within this material as well. And we'll be talking more about that in my science class. Um, and I just can't wait to share this with you guys.